quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today. Christine is in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Made it in here, even though the snow is packing the streets. So but. much snow. <laughs> so much snow. For those of you who are watching, um, Nebraska got... We had almost a foot of snow. Did yeah. you have about that much? Yeah, I'd say between 12 and 13. Yeah. It's the most snow we've had in 24 hours since 1975. So lucky us. <laughs> lucky us. But you got all shoveled out. Oh, yeah. And made it here. And then again, snowed this morning. Yep, because we can't stop. And no. apparently it's supposed to snow on Saturday. like Saturday, Sunday. We just never. It's fine. I know. I know. <laughs> So, and this whole working from home thing doesn't mean we get a snow day. Right. We yeah, have to work we from work always. on Monday and Tuesday. All right, quilters. <laughs> hey, that cute quilt behind my good friend Christina is called Popsicle Sticks. It's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com, and it uses the cute little pennant die that we're going to use today. I also think it's appropriate for today because it's like 10 degrees outside. Yes. Right? It <laughs> so is you could freeze popsicles so outside today. So cold outside. <laughs> All right, where is everybody from? First of all, we have some folks from Germany. Thanks for joining us. And Jan Walker, good morning. Um, oh, people from Iowa. Oh, Ooh. somebody just finished dry, uh, shoveling their drive. Robin oh, wants Jacqueline us. Robinson, I know you. Hi, Jacqueline. Robin says she wants us to send her the snow. Where is Robin? We'll send it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll send it happily. Um, my sister lives in St. George, Utah, and they had snow. Oh, yeah, everywhere. and then Vegas had snow. Yeah, I, I feel like they don't know what to do. All right, welcome. We're glad you're all here today. Hopefully everybody is home staying safe. All right, were those not amazing projects in our countdown video? They're so fun to watch. Those were some of uh, projects made by you, our viewers. We would love to see your finished projects. You can share them here on our Facebook page, right, Christina? Yep. Just go in and upload your picture. And you can be part of the AccuQuilt Live team. We're, our, our show, I'm so excited. Now we have some projects um, to show you from some of our viewers. Okay, so first up is Anita H. Okay, Christina and I both love this. Yes. This is such a fun pattern, right? It's called Happy Village. Mm -hmm. And I think, Anita, some of that fabric is um, that, very similar to some that I have in a jelly roll. I just think it's beautiful. I love So this she one. used her eight inch cube, I love that. Next, we have Priscilla D. Oh, hey, look, she's making scrappy baskets. We had a video about that a few weeks ago. Baskets are cute. Christina, tell us about the mug rugs. Yeah, so she used the extra fabric that you cut off when you square up the basket and made little matching mug rugs. Priscilla, you're brilliant. Those are darling. So don't waste that good fabric. Make it into mug rugs. I love that. Okay, and then finally, we have this beautiful quilt by Wendy. Mm -hmm. Christina, what pattern die is this? Snail's Trail. Snail's Trail. We have it for the go and the go big. Yes. I love the colors. I love the when it looks like uh, waves yes, in the definitely. ocean. Yes, I miss Miami more today than <laughs> <Already>? ever. <laughs> yeah, it's only been a week. It was 73 when I was there last week. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right, so now, what? Here is my photo of the day. You ready? I know, ta-da, ta-da. So we live here in Omaha, Nebraska, and Omaha is home to the College World Series of Baseball. Mm -hmm. And it's been here for a long, 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 long time, and it is one of my very favorite sporting events to go to, right? Um, Christina, do you have a favorite sporting event? Um, I truly, I love like home games in Lincoln, like home yes, games. Like, Nebraska games. I'm a football fan, so those are my favorites. Yes, yes. So um, College World Series is one of my favorite sports to watch. So the question of the day, because we're gonna make, show you how to make these cute little pennants. Um, what is your favorite sport? Be interesting to see what quilters have. Mm -hmm. um, I actually truly love baseball more than anything. Uh, no one in my family loves baseball. <laughs> it's so sad. So it's okay, um, we, I have spent years at soccer games. Yeah. I mean, Mason and Taylor both played soccer, and so, so much of my life I've spent at soccer. Okay, so in the comment section today, tell us what's your favorite sport. Now listen, we're so glad you're here, and for our AccuQuilt Live family, we have a special treat for you. We always do. Today, you can take 25% off your entire order. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> Some of you in the comments were saying you want to go big. Today is that day, okay? 25% off your order. When you put in your order, those exclusions will show up, right? Yep, Christina. Yep. Okay, today until midnight central time. 
So we just started here. It's about uh, noon central time. The team, uh, the code you're going to use is Go Team, whatever team it is for you. Some exclusions apply, and those are listed on the website. So 25% off your order. Yeah. So if you wanted that Go Big, it's $150 off. Oh, all you people who said you want to go big, today's that day. Okay. <laughs> and we would ship them to them free. Yes. Yes, they as long as they're big. in the contiguous United States. Yes, contiguous U.S. We're going to ship it to you free. Okay. So $150 off and we're going to ship it to you free. All right, today we're going to give away one of our Go Pennant dies to one of lucky viewer. So what you need to do is share this video in your own personal Facebook page for a chance to win. At the end, Leslie's going to pick a winner. Christina's going to announce that I'm going to clap. Yep. Okay. So it'll be fun. <laughs> so it's a really fun die. Have you ever used it before, Christina? Um, I've used it once. I made like a tiny little pennant for like a holiday, but that was it. Cute. Cute. Yes. I love the quilt behind you. Yeah, that's such a unique use of that pennant. Yeah, when it gets a little warmer, mm -hmm. we should make that. Yeah, you could even make just pennants that just look like popsicles if you don't want to make a whole quilt. In my quilting head, I thought about doing that for today's mm -hmm. show, and then I got busy. Okay, <laughs> so let's do that. Let's give away one. So uh, in the comments section, be sure and share. All right, now we're going to celebrate your favorite team by making this super cute sports banner. So look at how fun this is. And... My Buffalo Bills did not win, but good job, Kansas City, because we're here in Omaha. Um, so this, we put Nebraska, because that's where we are. <laughs> and if you're not a sports fan, don't worry. I have some other banners later in the show that I'm going to show you that you're going to love to make. Okay? So, but it's all about pennants. All right, so let's talk about this die. This die is on a 6 by 24 die board which means it will fit through all of your cutters, including the Go Me. This die has three distinct shapes that would be so difficult to cut by hand. And since I'm only going to cut one shape at a time, I'm going to actually use a smaller mat. Mm -hmm. I know, because remember, it's only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat, yes. right? And you can always use the smaller dies just to cut certain portions of it. Yeah, certain, yeah. So that's, that's the great thing you want to do, okay? So today, for my pennant, um, I'm going to use this triangle shape. Christina, do you know what kind of triangle that is? Isosceles. Isosceles, good answer. Mm. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you this super cool trick, um, how to cut your triangles. Okay. So since I'm just going to cut the triangle shape for my pennant, I've measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch on either side, and then I just rough cut strips of fabric of my team fabric. Okay. And then I did the same for the backing fabric. Now here's the cool thing about the backing fabric. It can be just like white muslin, which is what I did. I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy, all right? Then once my pieces were cut, I'm gonna um, fuse the pieces together, all right? So I'm gonna show you this cool trick. So I've cut my strips, all right? Cause I'm gonna use my, pull it over here, my little triangle, okay? So I measure from here to here at a quarter of an inch on either side, okay? Now, you have a couple of options, and I'm going to show you on this um, little popsicle one um, how to cut it and sew it and turn it inside out, but you don't have to cut this one and sew it and turn it inside out. I'm going to show you this super cool trick that um, will make sure that your layers don't fray, okay? So here's my football fabric. Here's my muslin. Okay, and then what I did was I cut a piece of fusible, put it in the center, pressed it down, okay, then I peeled that backing off, put my football fabric on top, and pressed it down. So now it has fusible in the center, all right? So now when I cut it on my die, the edges aren't going to fray. Isn't that a super cool trick? Yes, definitely. I love that. Um, you could do the same like if you were using uh, felt. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to do that. You can just measure it. Um, I'm going to cut a couple out of felt as well. Okay? Now, before I show you this cool trick on how to cut it, join us uh, Tuesday, February 2nd, which is coming up. Next week. Next week. On Tuesday. Already. Somehow it's already February. Already February. I don't know <laughs> where that all whole January month went. Um, for our live invitation event called Gifts from the Heart. We're going to share some ideas for making projects from the heart. 
uh, for Valentine's Day and for spring, one of my new favorite projects we're gonna talk about. I'm so excited. So in the comment section, Christina, right, there mm -hmm. is a link to register. Why do people wanna register? So you can be eligible to win prizes. Prizes. Yes. The lovely Eric and I give away prizes yes. all the time. Everything from fabric to dyes. Yeah. It's the best. It's gonna be so fun, okay? So um, February um, 2nd, 12 noon central time. All good things happen at 12 noon central time, okay? <laughs> all right, so here we go. So here's my clever trick to cut my triangles. I'm gonna move some of these dies. I have more dies on here than I've ever seen on our table. <laughs> okay, so look what I'm gonna do right here. Okay, now I've only covered this shape, and today you can use your go me, but I'm gonna use my go big. How come, Christina? Because you can. Because I can. And because it's on sale? It's on sale $150 <laughs> off. We do have a great question from Crystal. Hi, Crystal. She said, I thought you said not to use the wrong size mats. Can you explain further? Oh, yes, okay. Crystal, that's a great comment. Before I cut, let me show you this. This is a six by 24 die board. So if you were cutting all the shapes on this die board, you would need a six by 24 mat. What you don't want, Crystal, is to use your big 10 by 24 mat because as it goes through the cutter, this is gonna shimmy and it's gonna move your fabric and it's not gonna cut it straight. So on a die, you can always use a mat smaller to cut individual pieces but you can't use a bigger one. Yes, and you just okay. have to make sure you cover the whole shape. So you right. can't use like two six by six mats or something like that. Correct. So you'll notice, hey, can I have a, oh, here it is right here. So I'm gonna actually use my six by 12 mat, okay, because it's gonna cover the whole shapes, okay? Whereas my little six by six, oh, I'm gonna show you this because this is my thing. Okay, mats are on sale today, yes? Yep. How much off? 25%. And the code is GOTEAM? Yes. Okay. Quilters ask me all the time, when should they change their mats? When should they get a new mat? And my answer is they should get a new mat when it stops cutting cleanly, mm -hmm. okay? So this is an actual real mat. Can you see this? That um, oh. I, I was in um, Ohio at an event and a quilter had this mat. <laughs> and she said to me, Pam, it's not cutting cleanly. I said, no, sweetie. You need to get a new mat. So quilters, if you have mats like this, you throw them right today in the recycle bin and um, order you a new mat. Now, I want you to see this because you asked a great question. So look, my six by six mat won't fit over the shape. So it wouldn't cut here. So that's why today I'm gonna use my six by 12 mat. Okay, and remember, it's only gonna cut where there's fabric in a mat. Great question. Okay. All right, here we go. So here's what I've done. So now that I have fused this, I don't have to worry about lengthwise grain ever again because once I fused it, it's gonna stabilize that fabric. Pretty clever, huh? Okay, otherwise you would have to have that label at your belly lengthwise grain. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna cut, and while I'm cutting, Christina, what kind of sports are people liking? Oh, so many. My favorite, though, is probably Linda. Okay, Linda. She says her favorite sport is running from one quilt shop to another. Does that count? Linda, that totally counts, and you are the winner. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> That's wonderful. Trish, That's cute. Trish said she likes hockey. Hockey. Which is fun. I watched a lot of hockey in college. Did you? Yeah, our, the UNO team was really good when I was there the few years. So really? So I'd go every week. It was great. We watched, okay, next to college baseball, I love high school women's volleyball. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and collegiate volleyball. Yeah, those, yeah, it's, those girls are. They are rock stars. They're like powerhouses. Like I They can't. are. <laughs> they are. I just like, oh, my goodness. Okay, so look, watch this. Ta-da, ta-da. So I cut my first football shape, okay, right there. Okay, now here's the trick. Now in your quilting head, you might think, well, I'm just gonna fan fold this back and forth over that shape, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna waste all of the fabric on either side. So this is called the stack and flip method. Okay, so I, in how many layers? I could actually have had another layer on top. Okay, now watch, I'm gonna flip it. I know. It's such a cool trick. This is the best tip, because you don't waste any fabric that way. No, you don't, okay? So now I have this part here. And remember, 
don't worry about this little tail and this little tail. How come? Because there are no blades in my cutter, okay? The blades are just in the die. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. It is staticky here. Okay, Christina, <laughs> what other sports are people liking? Let's see. Um, oh, gosh, there's so many. Uh, Chris likes White Sox baseball. Oh, I like White Sox baseball. <laughs> Um, Chris, we could hang. Oh, Susie gets, Susie lives in Tampa, so she has the Super Bowl there in two weeks. She does. That's yeah. fun. You see, it's better than Kansas City, which is going to snow. <laughs> okay, so look, see, and now I've cut my next pennant. And you would continue to do that, okay? So I would, if I were doing this, which is what I did at home, um, I would have two sections of the fused pieces together. You really have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric, okay? So really that's two and a half layers, so I would do another two and a half layers, and that's how I cut it. And then um, I just added bias tape to the top, and ta-da, your banner is ready. We've no, got, isn't that cute? There's a great suggestion that says you could, instead of doing muslin on the back, you could just do like a happy birthday banner or a different like theme on the back so that they're all reversible. That is brilliant. Yeah. That is you're brilliant. so smart. <laughs> I need to remember that. That's a great idea. Okay, so that's the stack and flip method, okay? So quilters ask me all the time, why is AccuQuilt better than rotary cutting? Okay, imagine trying to cut these little banner shapes out. You'd have to use some kind of template. Have mm -hmm. you ever used a template to cut no. anything? No. no. Christina is the smartest person. She and Leslie <laughs> only started quilting with our AccuQuilt system. Yep, I've never cut anything by hand. Never, never, which is beautiful. <laughs> And so if you were trying to use these, you would make a template, and none of them would be the same. But look how perfect these are, every single one of them, okay? All right, so that's the stack and flip method. Hey, don't remember, don't forget, filters. these videos live on our Facebook page and our YouTube yep. channel. Yep, they're always here to rewatch. Yeah, so if this afternoon you're thinking, what did Pam say? Then you can just come back and watch it, okay? We're giving away one of our Go Penance die to one lucky viewer today. Share this video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. How much is this pennant die, Christina, with our 25% discount? It is $60. $60. That's it. And how much is the Go Big? It is $150 off. So $150 for. off plus free shipping. Yep. Get you one today. All right. Now, we have, did you know we have a blog, Quilters? We do. And it's an amazing place. It's full of inspiration and tutorials and patterns and sewing tips and ways to use our AccuQuilt fabric cutter and our dies. You can meet our go-getters. What are our go-getters, Christina? They're like our influencers, our bloggers. So we send them product. They make beautiful stuff and show you how to do it. Listen, we should be go-getters. That's true. We go get stuff all the time. We go get stuff. All the time here we get stuff. <laughs> all right, so Lynn, can Christina and I be go-getters? Okay. Um, so, and you get to meet the, uh, the, our team behind our brand, which is yes. so fun. And join conversations that our community is having right now. So check out, the link is there, um, check out our blog. I'd love to, you're going to love it. It's great. All right. Now, don't forget to join us February 2nd, which is Tuesday, for our next AccuQuilt Live invitation event. Our live events on Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time on Facebook and YouTube, you can just watch those anytime. You don't have to register. But for our events on Tuesday, you need to register. Why, Christina? So you can win prizes. You can win prizes. Yes. Okay? And so we're having gifts from the heart, and we're going to share ideas on projects from the heart. We're going to show you some really fun uh, Valentine and spring projects. Mm -hmm. One is my absolute favorite. I can hardly wait. Okay? Um, use the link in the comment section to register. All right. Let's keep talking about pennants. Okay, are you not a sports fan, except what are people liking? What kind of sports are um, people liking? Let's see, Barbara says, or Brenda, excuse me, says that her favorite is martial arts. That's okay, fun. Brenda, I have to tell you a funny story. Oh boy. I know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, Taylor, who's now an adult, when he was a little boy, we took him to Taekwondo. Okay. Okay. And it was actually a really great uh, way to help him focus sure. and get out some energy and those kind of things. So Ray and I, who are, Okay, Ray is mostly calm. I'm not, but Ray is mostly calm. We <laughs> went to the Taylor's very first Taekwondo match, and he had a sparring event. Okay. And I remember Christina saying from my mouth, kick him in the head, Taylor, <laughs> kick him hard. 
And then I thought, that is not okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, after that, Ray did not let me go to events anymore. He just had to. Yeah. He had to go. But Taylor loved it. He was a junior black belt in the oh, whole wow. shebang. So I do. I do love to watch that. Okay. If you're not a sports fan, it's okay. There are so many great ways to use our um, pennant die to make banners. Okay, this is the one <laughs> that Oakley and I made last weekend. Okay, now I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to tell you um, Oakley was at my house, right? So she loves to go big. For a long time, she didn't know I had it. And she would just cut with the go. She oh, thought okay. that was super fun. And then one day she came over and I was using the go big and she said, Lola, what is that? And I said, that's a go big. And she said, that's what I want to cut with always. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, so look at this cute little banner. So we use the pen and die. It's for next week for Tuesday for our little live event. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Oakley cut like 700 more hearts than we're ever going to use. <laughs> okay, but it was super fun. So the thing I love about this is that all we had to do was hot glue. Okay. And I'm going to show you um, this cool trick. So we just used felt, okay. right, Christina? And then I cut out pink and red felt, and then I added the bias tape to the top, OK? And then Oakley and I used um, uh, our little queen of hearts and our hearts die to cut out the hearts. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then we just hot glued them. Perfect. There is, other than sewing the little part on the top, which she helped me do, there is none sewing. So this is a great project, like if you have kids or oh, grandkids yeah. or nieces and nephews, OK? I'm going to tell you that you can always cut six layers of cotton with your dye, but you can also cut felt and flannel and cork and minky. <gasps> we should put, when we're making popsicles, mm -hmm. use those little steps out of cork. Oh, that's a great idea. You were talking about minky, so I thought you were going to say cut the popsicles out of minky. That would. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you, you were going. You stop me if I ever think that, okay? <laughs> you say, Pam, you've truly lost your quilting head, okay? So um, I, I just did one layer of felt, okay? You could do take, uh, two, but it just really depends on how thick the felt is, okay? So I just one, did one layer, but I did that whole stack and flip method. So it went by pretty fast, okay? Then we hot glued them on, and we used these two dies. We used the hearts and the queen of hearts. Christina, do you have a favorite? Do you prefer one over the other? Um, I love the Queen of Hearts. I do too. It's, I love the shapes. Yeah, because they're, so they're a little wonky. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. They look like hand drawn to me. They do. They do. So here's the Queen of Hearts and here's the hearts. And we used them both, okay? And then um, we used craft foam. Okay, I have to tell you, I have had more fun cutting craft foam with our dye. Really? I do it all the time. <laughs> I just make stuff all the time with them. Um, Oakley cuts out projects with them and all of that kind of stuff. So this is sparkly. You can buy it at the craft store. Super cheap. And then on the back, um, it's just solid, okay? So we have to save this, Chrissy. We can't move this because we have to hang it after the show. So for when or okay. for Tuesday. We've got another question. Okay. Uh, Noreen wants to know, are the pennants big enough to applique AccuQuilt letters on them? Like to say happy birthday or something like that. In just a minute, we're going to show you that. There is a <laughs> die for that, Maureen. Yes. Okay. All right. So here's what I did. And again, with craft foam, um, I just did one layer at a time. But I'm going to show you how super easy this is. And I'm going to add to Oakley's collection of hearts. Okay. So one layer of craft foam. Notice, quilters that I didn't cover the whole thing. I just basically covered the hearts because there's going to be some um, pieces, big chunks left over that you can reuse. Okay. Okay. All right. Now the go heart is on a five by 10 die board, queen of hearts on a six by 12 die board. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put the top on and while this cuts, Christina, tell me what people are like and what's sporting it. Let's see. Um, Joanne loves, or Joanna, excuse me, loves vintage sports car racing. Oh, how fun. I, I hope know. you were an ascot. Uh, Jessica wants to know if horseback riding counts as a sport. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, Jan has a great idea that says you can make a banner that just says celebrate, because then it works for everything. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> And then, Our quilters are so smart. I love this comment from Rhonda. She says, seeing your daughter knock someone out in karate is the oddest feeling. It is. It truly <laughs> is. I think I spent my whole life teaching Taylor to be kind to people, and then I told him kick people yep. in the head. Okay. 
All right, give us some love because static is built up. It is so staticky here in the Dream Studio today. You ready? Look at this. Okay, quilters, I don't know how long it take you to cut out these shapes by hand, but way longer than that. And here's what I learned because Oakley was with me. Then I just took this side and put it on the other hearts, okay? All right, and just ran it through my cutter. And not only do we have hearts for days at the house, glitter everywhere. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I was sewing some other things and I was like, where is this purple glitter from? Oh no. That's okay, here we go. I used to work at a store that had a lot of very glittery items and it would always end up everywhere. It's everywhere. Like my water bottle at work would always have glitter in it. Like <laughs> My water bottle, I love it. Okay, so look, here's the hearts. And then you're just gonna hot glue them down to that felt. Super easy, super easy, okay? So the hearts and the queen of hearts, get you some craft foam. Um, all right, I'm gonna move that over here. Ooh, that's Today. perfect. Sally just asked what that sparkly product was called yep. again. It's called craft foam and you can get it in any craft store and they come in a bazillion colors. Yes. Ask me, I know. I have a bazillion <laughs> colors of them. Um, Today only, because we love you, take 25% off your entire order. Some exclusions apply, they're on the website. You're gonna use the code GOTEAM, G-O. We should have put an uh, exclamation, exclamation point because <laughs> GOES is G-O exclamation point. In fact, when I write notes, that's how I spell it. My phone auto corrects to that now. Yeah, Anytime mine I write the too. word GO, it does yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good until midnight central time. Some exclusions apply. Okay, so Christina, how much is the pennant die with the, the discount? The pennant die is $60. And how much is our GO BIG? $150 off. $150 off and we're gonna ship it to you free. Yes. So that's a great idea. All right, now somebody asked, can you, do we have letters to mm -hmm. down? Yes, of course there's a tie for that. Okay, so hold on here. This was, it's pretty close to celebrate. Um, it just says party. Ooh, perfect. Because I feel like even though, I, you know, we're gonna have so many still virtual events yep. for the next while, folks. Okay, so this one, again, um, I just used felt, okay? And then I used our three-inch carefree alphabet. We have an uppercase and a lowercase, and guess what? It has a free embroidery download, okay? Not next week, but the week after, we're gonna show you how to download yes. an embroidery. Yeah. And those alphabet dies are on sale, too. And how much are the alphabet dies? They are $150. $150. That's it. I love it. Go team. 25% off. Go team. Off. There we go. Okay, and we have three stitches, a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, and a motif stitch. Okay, and I just used my blanket stitch to do that. Now, I'm going to show you a trick in a few minutes with a bunny. No animals will be hurt. We had that comment from little boy who's like, we were talking about we cut off dog ears on our dyes, and he thought we were talking puppy ears. So I sweet. thought that was so cute. Okay. All right, so here is our carefree alphabet. Three inch, uppercase and lowercase. It's a two die set. Look at how fun this is. So um, the last, again, I have so many dies here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, the last shape I'm gonna show you is this shape, which is Christina's popsicle stick, mm -hmm. okay? I, now forever, I'm going to call it that. I don't. At Halloween, they're tombstones. Yep. <laughs> Just so you know. Someone said that they saw a pizza slice in the triangles. There is pizza fabric. That's so funny. There is pizza fabric. We should totally get that. Okay. So now I'm going to show you this cute banner that I've already made, and I haven't applied or I haven't um, added the letters yet, but there's a plan. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this one I'm gonna do, and we're gonna use um, the popsicle version, okay, in our three inch alphabet. But this little um, die right here, this is called Small Houses by Ryko Keiko. And it's part of the sale today, mm -hmm. okay? So you can make these cute little houses. So I'm gonna cut out the letters welcome. So it can be like a welcome oh. home kind of thing, yeah. You could do it virtually, like if somebody's coming back from a mm -hmm. trip or coming home or whatever, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what I've done is I have pre-fused my fabric that I'm gonna use for the letter shapes, okay? 
Now, it's important to look at the die because the letters are facing up. So you want your fabric to face up because if you do it like this, your letters will be backwards and you will be cranky. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I did this right. Okay, so, oh, there. So we're going to do welcome. So I'm going to do W and I have two E's and the L and the C and the O and the M. I think I'm good. Okay, now for this one, I'm gonna use a six by 24 cutting mat, okay? Or a 10 by 24, because I have so many shapes to cut. Think, quilters, how long it would take you to cut these letters by hand. I would not. Mm -mm. I would never make a banner that had any words on it. I would just say, thank you. Okay, here we go. All right, Christina, what are people like in what sports? Let's see, um, oh gosh, uh, Becky loves curling. Curling? Curling's fun. Becky, I'm impressed. I'm a little sad we don't get the Olympics this year. Next year though, yes? yes I think so. Um, there's a great question uh, for Luann. Okay. She says, can you tell me more about the binding you use? Do you do just with the fabric and stitch it together or do you use a dye? Yes and yes. <laughs> um, Okay, so for the binding, this is what she's, is this what yep. you're talking about? Okay, I so I went to the craft store and I bought bias tape. Extra you wide. Go. Okay, you could totally use a die, fold it in half. If you're gonna do it, I would tell you to use the three inch strip die. Okay. Cut three inches, fold them in half, fold them in half again, and then stitch them. I have done that in the past. I had Oakley this weekend. I went to the craft store and bought bias tape. Okay, it just works easier, all right? But if I was making um, other projects, yeah, absolutely, I would use my strip dies. Oh. Strip dies on sale today, 25% off. Yes. Which ones are you missing? Ha! Okay, so here we go. Okay, see, this is why we rub, because look how static it is here in the Dream Studio today. It's so staticky everywhere. It is. Okay, here we go. Here's welcome. Hold on here, I'm gonna show you how this all works. Oh, that one hasn't been cut. Don't do anything there. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so look how sticky this is. But remember, um, once you have that fusible on there, you don't have to worry about lengthwise grain anymore because now it's stable. Okay, and now I'm going to use O and W. All right, Christina, what other things are people doing? Oh, don't catch here. Oh. Got it. I got it. <laughs> I do love high school football. Yes, that's always fun too. High school football in a small town. So we lived in a small town in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And every Friday night, it didn't matter what your plans were. Nope. <laughs> there, if there was a home game, that is where everybody went. Yes. Yeah. I love the comment from Cheryl. She says she watches whatever sports her grandkids are doing. So cheer, oh, volleyball. that's great. Gymnastics, ballet, soccer. Yes. And there was a question, I can't find it now, but someone wanted to know if cutting like the paper or the craft foam would dull the dyes in the blades. Dull the blades, no. Blades and the dyes. It's not like scissors. You're gonna get thousands of cuts out of your dyes, hundreds of cuts out of your mats. Um, scissors are blades that rub against each other. With die cutting, the mat pushes down on the blades. So it cuts paper and craft foam and all sorts of cool stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, do you hear the static in here? Holy smokes, okay. All right, so this alphabet set is on sale, right? Yep. You're seeing a 25% off. Yes, so it's $150 is all. And it's a two die set, it's really great. Here we go. Okay, so now I've already made my pennant, my little banner. So I'm just gonna do one of these and show you, okay? So here's the W, and I like to use this bigger one, um, and then the one I did with the party for our alphabets, right? because they're, um, they're a little bit bigger. So here's the trick I learned. I used to take a ruler and measure right here. Now I put it on my green mat and then I line it all up on the same line. Sometimes I learn things, <laughs> sometimes, okay. Ooh, Frankie says we need a dryer sheet to help with the static. Oh, Frankie, yes. Okay, here we go. Oakley has really long hair and it's like <laughs> everywhere. You know, it just looks crazy, okay? So now I'm gonna just applique these down. 
If you had an embroidery machine, you could use our embroidery files. If you don't, it's okay. Okay, you can just do what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna iron them down. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you real quick how we're gonna sew this one together. Because this is one that I find that is really